Melt in. Melt in, you sit down. Melt in. Melt in, sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy, Trudy Toots. Morning, guys. I am up in Adam and I'm about to start lifting weights. I am focusing on lifting weights in November, so I'm doing my first workout today and I'm really excited. But before I do that, I've got to do my zip fish shake. And today we are having bam! Oh, peach mango. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorites. I haven't had it in so long. Yes, yes! This is an almond that I'm gonna have a great workout. Mm-hmm, mm, I'm strong already, yes! All right guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. To a great workout, to a great month, to a great rest of the year, to just living your best life right now. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Oh, so peachy and mango-y. Oh. oh, special announcement. I am officially liquidating all of my Watch Autumn Keto swag. I'm working on some new stuff, and in order to bring in the new, we gotta clear out the old. So that includes blender bottles, coasters, bottle openers, my whack packs, everything like that is on clearance on the site right now. If you go to www.watchautumnketo.com slash swag, you can definitely get a swag bundle. This is now a limited edition. Once it's gone, I will never be making anything like these again. So I'm, I'm sad but excited. The last of the wax swag is on sale. Go get some now. my workout it was amazing it's a workout that I made up it's a 45 minute interval weightlifting workout so what I did was I wrote down 16 exercises so four chunks of four like four sets of four right here and so what I did was I would do an exercise for 45 seconds and then I would take a 30 second break so for instance like bicep curls I use a 15 weight and then I would do bicep curls for 45 seconds. And the first set, I was able to do 16. And then I went all the way through. So I did it twice. And then the second time, I was able to do 12. So this really works for me because it helps me keep on pace with a weightlifting workout. Normally, I'll just lift weights and I'll get tired. So I'll take these long rests. And then I'll look up and my workout's like 55 minutes to an hour. And I'm like, I don't have that much time to be working out. So I don't do it. Well... Now that I know that I only have a set amount of time to do each exercise and then I get an immediate rest after, it really pushes me like, okay, just go ahead and crank out a couple more, you're almost done, and I want to try to beat my previous time, and I get to stay on pace. So my workout was exactly 45 minutes. It was amazing. I did some upper body. I did biceps, chest, triceps. I did lower body. This is like a full body workout. Then I did some cardio. I did some mountain climbers and jump ropes at the end. Like, this was really great. I really like it. Comment down below, do you want me to slap this up on the website or something like that? I can probably put it on the website, put it in the Facebook group, but I'm really happy with the pace I was able to keep with my workout today. And I'm also very glad that it's over. Okay guys, I got my almonds. They are done dehydrating. Yep, they are in the Ninja Foodie. They've been dehydrating for like 24 hours at this point, so I know that they're done. So I'm gonna put them in a bowl and then I'm gonna toss them with some Cinnamon and erythritol.
Okay guys, so you can see my bowl full of cinnamon sugar nuts. Mmm. Mmm. Oh! That is amazing. So these are my soaked and dehydrated almonds. I soaked them for 12 hours and then I just put them in the dehydrator at 115 for 24 hours. And then when they came out, I sprayed them with some coconut oil and then tossed them in some cinnamon and erythritol and some salt. And they are amazing. Mmm. Mmm. but I don't want to consume my nuts. Okay, I'll bring your show off nuts. Yes, these are my display nuts. Not your consuming nuts. No, no consuming nuts. He said, maybe silly question, but have you tried making your own almond milk auto? It is not a silly question at all. No, I have they not are, yet. no silly questions. I'm really going to master the, yes, that's the point. nuts. Like, which I think I have. I think I've mastered the dehydration. I was gonna say. Um, and now I'm just gonna it. look up how to make my own, um, I mean, there, there are multiple methods. Yes, there's multiple methods. But then part of me is also so trying to figure out how much almond milk I drink because the little carton of almond milk is only $2. And I don't really want to use $8 worth of almonds to make $2 worth of almond milk. I just made my bulletproof coffee. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. It's so hot. Mm, it's so hot, but it's so delicious. That's what she said. Chocolatey and sweet. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, in my coffee, I had coffee. I had a cup of chocolate almond milk. I had four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I had a tablespoon of butter. I had some of that Jordan Skinny Syrup Caramel Pecan along with some sucralose. And then also, I had my absolute favorite Preferred Keto Chocolate Collagen. I'd like to thank Preferred Keto for sponsoring today's video and tell you that I absolutely love adding this to my Bulletproof Coffee. This is chocolate. My mom's favorite is actually the vanilla that they have, but like chocolate all the way for me. You can get 10% off using the code WAC10 on their website. This is my absolute favorite. Once again, thank you so much Preferred Keto for sponsoring today's video. I'm about to get back to my coffee. taco tray it is the usual honestly we're missing some key staples because I forgot them so I don't have the chipotle mayo because I didn't make any and uh, I forgot the cilantro going grocery shopping so that was a fail so that's okay we still got an awesome taco tray with lettuce we got that ground beef we have some cheese and sour cream also that Taco Bell fire sauce and some tapatio also I found some red onions in the refrigerator from last week so that's gonna be a score. Then I got some pork rinds, I got some quest chips, and then I have some guacamole. So this is still finna be lit, you know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and just uh, take a bite. Oh, this is gonna be so great. I'm so hungry. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. It is my favorite thing ever. I can eat it all the time. Who am I kidding? I pretty much do eat it all the time. So um, I'm gonna have this and then dessert and then I'll be closing my eating window because it's late. Okay guys, ending the day with perfect keto. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough. This is the salted caramel. My favorite flavors. 
two bars, then I'm calling it quits. I may or may not have a diet soda later. I've drunk over a half gallon of water today, so I'm doing very good there, but I'm just gonna relax a little bit and then get back to work. Okay guys, I am having a diet ginger ale. I haven't had these in weeks, and I'm just so excited <laughs> to have it back in my life, let's be honest. Uh, I'm sitting here actually editing a video. I am really excited to uh, tell you guys about a new business that my sister and I have started. It's called Twinergy. So Twinergy used to just be like a fun little name that we made up to talk about our connection and whatnot. But it quickly became clear to us that we really wanted to make Twinergy something that could be meaningful to everyone. Uh, and so between my weight loss journey and really just the confidence that I built in accomplishing such a huge feat for myself in terms of losing weight and constantly working on my relationship with food, you know, that confidence and that desire for self-improvement spills over into all other areas of your life. And so you guys know I've become really big into self-improvement and just making yourself better in all aspects. And a lot of that has had to do with my sister, with the motivation that she provides, with the mindset changes and things like that. And so combined with her life coaching and my experience in the weight loss and keto world, we actually have started a, a company called Twinergy, and we're gonna be actually hosting our very first and last uh, masterclass of 2020. It's entitled From Struggle to Success, and we're gonna talk all about our tips and our strategies and the methods that we've used to really hone in on our productivity and how we're making the most of each day. I would love for you to join us. It's on Saturday, November the 14th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. The link is in the description below. Click now to get your tickets. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited about this venture that I'm taking with my sister and I can't wait to see you there. Also, I love Canada Dry. Thank you. Oh, oh, it's so crisp. Ooh. Okay guys, just checking in. Uh, I haven't had anything since that delicious ginger ale, so I'm calling it a day. Today was an awesome day. Taco tray, with or without some staples, is still my absolute favorite, so I'm really excited to just get back to normal, doing the best in November, and onward to Thanksgiving, okay? How about that? Onward to Thanksgiving, and then to Christmas, but up until then, business as usual. I'm looking forward to lifting weights and getting stronger and just really hunkering down in the winter, okay? Are you doing any challenges or anything special in November? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next week. Bye! Sticky and nut butter. It's decent. I like the. It's decent. <laughs> Yo, Trey, drop the purse. Trey said homemade almond milk tastes amazing, but it's kind of a pain. Exactly. The pain is what I'm wanting to avoid. Exactly. If I could just pay my two dollars and get me some almond milk, Have you know you that's gonna be fine. If you're giving your opinion on something and you say decent, that's not a good thing. Well, Somebody what it feels help. like when you walk down a wonderful trail, and it was a decent trail. No, that's still not good. That means, like, I just did it because I had to and I wouldn't choose to do it again. Like, decent? Well, not, I mean, it's right in the middle. Right down there. <laughs> right 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 Everybody comment. What's your view on the, on the adjective decent? Slow.